it's okay? Yeah. So thank you. Uh, yes, indeed, uh, I would like to speak about um, the Faraday instability and mixing zone uh, driven by it. And this is uh, a work done in collaboration with uh, Ali et Boadou uh, at uh, Eco Normal Super de Cachan. And uh, I would like to thank uh, the organizer of this conference and also my colleague uh, from uh, CEA, uh, Jérôme and Olivier, who uh, were a great help about this. For this. So um, I think there is a problem with uh, the, scr the screen. Sorry about that, but uh, it's not the good. Uh, yeah, uh, there is the bottom missing with uh, this. Uh, yeah, you, you, you see. <laughs> So, uh, When you put a presentation, uh, oh, okay, this one is, uh, yeah, thanks. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let me first uh, introduce you uh, a little bit about uh, the Faraday instability, which has been uh, discovered uh, for a long time uh, at the end of the uh, 19th century. So it consists uh, in uh, applying uh, an acceleration vertical to the interface which is oscillating. So here, uh, the expression for the acceleration, you have a G naught, which is the mean acceleration, and uh, you have uh, uh, the oscillating part, which depends on F, which is the forcing parameter, on omega, uh, the forcing frequency. So uh, by convention, um, if uh, F equal to zero, you have a stable fluid, which means that uh, the acceleration point to the bottom, you have a light fluid on top of uh, EV fluid. So uh, it's stable, so you don't have instability if F uh, equal to zero. So it can be encountered in many, uh, many applications. It has been studied a lot. Uh, you can uh, do yourself an experiment by spinning uh, on a glass, uh, uh, water glass, uh, uh, you, can, you will excite uh, uh, Faraday instability um, uh, in the water. Uh, it is well known because it produces a lot of fascinating structure and it has been studied to, uh, to look at uh, phase changes uh, in the shape here. And uh, I, I like this picture because it's a way to communicate uh, between alligators. So by uh, vibrating their lungs, they can produce uh, Faraday waves uh, here at the top of a uh, river. Um, so this is a classical problem uh, which is uh, studied, uh, uh, the linear analysis use uh, Floquet decomposition. This has been done uh, the first time by Benjamin Russell in 54, uh, and then uh, much later by Kuma and Tuckerman in 94, uh, taking into account uh, viscous effect. So you see it's uh, quite uh, recent, uh, the theoretical development uh, for this instability. Um, one of the main characteristics is uh, that it is uh, subharmonic, which means that uh, the fluctuation generated by the instability oscillates uh, with half the frequency of uh, the forcing. So this problem, the Faraday problem, has been studied mainly uh, in the context of uh, laminar flows. But of course, uh, if uh, you, you easily imagine, if you uh, consider miscible fluids, um, if you apply a very strong forcing parameter, or also uh, if you have uh, initial uh, very well dissolved initial condition, uh, then uh, the standing waves appearing at the surface of uh, uh, the fluid would uh, interact each other nonlinearly and create uh, some turbulence. So this has been observed, for instance, in experiment by uh, Zwestia et al. in uh, GFM 2009. So you see uh, in this nice experiment, this is a miscible Faraday, and you see uh, here the interface, 
and you see the development of uh, turbulence and then uh, you have uh, you can observe the, the growth of uh, the mixing layer so uh, it has been studied also by de Walker et al but this author uh, look mainly at the onset of the instability and uh, they observe uh, however that uh, as the mixing zone grows then uh, resonance condition uh, triggering the instability are no longer fulfilled and then you have a saturation of the mixing zone so um, here, uh, uh, this is a numerical uh, simulation we perform. Um, uh, you have uh, the time evolution of uh, the mixing zone size. And here you, you see uh, some oscillation uh, triggered by the Faraday instability. If we are lucky, we can look at the movie. Yeah, OK. So, so you, we have to wait a little bit, but if you pay attention, then you see the oscillation due to Faraday. You have oscillation of the mixing zone. Um, it's a subharmonic uh, instability here. And then you have uh, the enlargement of uh, the instability and the saturation. So the question, uh, which is very simple, I would like to address in this talk, is can we predict here the final size of uh, this mixing zone? OK. So the first step uh, to do that is, uh, well, as always, uh, to perform dimensional analysis. And uh, well, we, we can uh, at first glance say that uh, initial condition uh, and dissipative uh, phenomenon uh, do not play uh, uh, an important role uh, in uh, deriving the final size of the mixing zone. So the final size should depend on the forcing uh, parameter on frequency and also the mean acceleration, which uh, is uh, um, uh, modulated by uh, A, which is the attitude number, the contrast of density between fluid. So we obtain by uh, no dimensional analysis this ex simple expression, which depends on unknown uh, function, J, as a function of the uh, forcing parameter. So um, the objective, uh, the, the outline of this talk is three parts. First, I will uh, propose uh, a theoretical framework to study uh, this sensibility. Um, then uh, it leads to uh, a system uh, in order to understand how gravity waves interact uh, with uh, the main density profile. And uh, we, we will derive the uh, saturation criterion from this analysis. And then we'll verify it against a numerical simulation. So first, uh, the theoretical framework. So you have a mixing zone, and uh, well, we can study it uh, first uh, very simply uh, in uh, the Boussinesque limit. You have equation for uh, the concentration of heavy fluid. This is uh, for binary uh, mixture. And uh, the velocity, and uh, the velocity field is incompressible. So uh, it is also convenient to introduce a second, um, a second framework uh, by extracting from uh, this equation with uh, Reynolds decomposition uh, the turbulent fluctuation and writing the equation for the turbulent fluctuation and uh, assuming that uh, the mean density profile um, has an uniform uh, gradient, uh, then uh, this is uh, what we call a stratified homogeneous turbulence, which is uh, how uh, turbulent fluctuation uh, oscillates and responds to the mean field at the center of a mixing zone. So this framework is uh, interesting because uh, uh, you decouple uh, the mean density profile uh, to turbulent fluctuation, and that's why it's easier, much easier to do, uh, for instance, numerical simulation, because here, you are limited by the size of uh, the domain, but not uh, with this setup because the size of the mixing zone uh, can uh, evolve uh, infinitely. Okay? So I will uh, use uh, both, I will uh, show you uh, both simulation with uh, mixing zone, uh, I call it NZ, and uh, stratified homogeneous turbulence, and we'll show, I will show you that it gives the uh, same result at the end. So um, 
we, we use also uh, the rapid acceleration model, which has been derived uh, first for Rayleigh Taylor turbulence. And uh, it is a, a very simple uh, model uh, which uh, represents uh, uh, the linear evolution of vertical velocity and uh, the buoyancy coefficient, which interact linear linearly each other, and depend, which depend also on uh, theta, which is the angle uh, between a uh, wave, uh, wave uh, vector with the vertical. So you recognize here uh, uh, the equation for, um, um, for a simple uh, stratified, uh, stratified solution. And uh, wh what, is, um, what is original here is uh, there is uh, the mixing zone size uh, here, uh, which uh, interact in this equation. Uh, so uh, it renders uh, uh, the system uh, non-linear, but in short, uh, this is a rapid distortion theory, uh, this equation, which are, has been first introduced by Anasaki Hunt in 1996, uh, uh, and the equation for L, which is the equation for uh, an approximation of uh, the mean gradient. So we think it's interesting to study this system because it's non-linear, and uh, it will uh, give us uh, some clue uh, how uh, how the mixing zone evolves and how it will saturate at the end. So if uh, I work a little bit on this equation, I can put it on this form, which is a second order differential equation for uh, the buoyancy parameter, uh, which, uh, which is uh, nonlinear because uh, uh, you have uh, the size of the mixing zone here, but also you have an infinite set of uh, this kind of equation, which are mature equation. And uh, I will consider this system as a, a description, very rough indeed, of how gravity waves interact uh, with uh, the mean density profile. So here is my system, uh, which is nonlinear. And uh, well, the first, uh, the first step is uh, to understand how uh, the stability, uh, the linear analysis of this system. So if we do that, then uh, the size of mixing zone does not intervene uh, in this system, and I obtain an infinite set of mature equation depending on the angle theta, uh, zero p, and this is uh, what I've been studied uh, by Benigni and Sumeria in uh, 98, and uh, this is the stability um, of a stratified flow excited uh, by uh, uh, parametric instability. So the stability of this set of equations can be represented on uh, the, the Mathieu diagram, which represents uh, uh, the forcing parameter as a function of uh, the ratio between the Brunvaisala frequency and uh, the forcing frequency square. So here you have a different tongue, uh, instability tongue, corresponding to subharmonic and harmonic instability. And uh, in this problem, uh, it is interesting to see what you trigger uh, in this representation for uh, a fixed uh, mixing zone size. And uh, because of uh, the sinus uh, theta here, uh, it, you, you see that you excite a, a, wall, uh, a wall band of frequency in this system, not a single one, but a wall band. This is the main difference with uh, a single interface here. And uh, well, of course, uh, you say, for instance, uh, in this example, even if uh, uh, the, the, the most amplified uh, frequency are stable here, uh, you have a, a band here which is uh, unstable. So you would, uh, you would say that this system is unstable, so the mixing zone will, uh, will grow and enlarge, and this will reduce L, and you will go like this. So what you, you, you would uh, expect uh, from linear analysis is that the final size of the mixing zone corresponds to uh, the first uh, transition curve in the Mathieu stability diagram, okay? But this is a linear analysis. And, uh, well, uh, the system is non-linear. Uh, does it work? Uh, that's the question. So, we try to pursue uh, the analysis of uh, the rapid acceleration model by uh, performing a multiple scale analysis on to see if taking into account linear effect, 
it indeed saturates uh, to the first, uh, 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 the first transition curve. So uh, here are my, my system. And what I assume uh, is an expression like this, depending on two time, OK, uh, with a small parameter. And here is uh, uh, what is classical, for instance, in uh, godrech malville I assume a weakly nonlinear system by supposing that the perturbation is close to the first subharmonic uh, perturbation. So uh, using steepest descent method, I can obtain solutions uh, for that. OK, uh, so this is a classical analysis um, using multiple scale analysis. So uh, I have uh, an equation uh, taking into account uh, the amplitude. And to find the equation for the amplitude, I look at resonance condition at next order. And what I obtain at the end is uh, this relation, which correspond indeed at taking into account weakly linear effect, it indeed saturates to the first transition curve uh, in this method. So I will skip all the detail and uh, uh, go directly to the verification of the saturation uh, criterion, which is then we, I, I, I say that uh, the mixing zone will saturate uh, to the first transition curve. So we worked hard uh, by uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, numerical simulation. And here, uh, this is an example with uh, stratified homogeneous turbulence. And uh, well, we perform at least uh, more than 250 uh, numerical simulation in DNS to explore uh, the, the phase space of initial condition. And uh, uh, so, um, uh, this diagram, uh, you, you, you see uh, the stability uh, tongue, the instability tongue here. Uh, the, small, uh, uh, the small symbols correspond to initial condition. And the final source of the mixing zone uh, correspond to the big symbols. And you see that mainly you saturate uh, to uh, the, the theoretical prediction, which is uh, the first transition curve uh, of the mixing zone. OK. So it works. But uh, I, I, will, I would like to show you um, a movie of uh, the evolution of this instability on which uh, uh, explain uh, the main mechanism. OK, well, this one. So if you pay attention, you see first the structure during uh, the Faraday instability are elongated uh, along the vertical direction. And then you, you, you have a, a transition because uh, then the structure bent and you look uh, in a direction. And then it recovers uh, the main direction, vertical direction at the end. So what you have in this example is a tra tra transition, harmonic, subharmonic, because in uh, um, in the Mathieu diagram, you have two tongues, uh, harmonic and subharmonic, uh, which can be triggered at the same time, uh, depending on the size, initial size of the mixing zone. So at the beginning, in this simulation here, you have both harmonic and subharmonic instability. And then at the end, you have only the subharmonic instability. So also uh, pay attention to uh, the size of uh, the structure with bent because the mixing zone uh, evolves and uh, then the, the, the main, uh, uh, the most amplified uh, uh, angles are not uh, correspond, does not correspond to the uh, vertical at the beginning but to a bent solution. Okay, I think uh, I have to, to stop here. Ah, okay, I have uh, one minute. So um, I say at first that uh, it does not depend on initial conditions. This is mainly true. But here uh, we perform a different experiment, uh, taking into account the effect of uh, initial fruit number, which is the effect of uh, if I put uh, uh, at initial condition a strong, uh, strong turbulence. But so you see that uh, it's mainly true that it does not depend on initial condition. But if initially the turbulence is strong, then the saturation is beyond uh, the line here, the, the transition curve. Because uh, at first, I put in turbulence as a stronger 
a strong impact, and then it will go beyond, um, beyond the, the theoretical prediction. Let's skip to the, the conclusion. So we perform a weekly nonlinear analysis um, describing interaction between gravity weights and the uh, mean uh, density profile. We derive the saturation criterion uh, for uh, mixing zone driven by Faraday instability. And we, we verify the, the prediction of uh, saturation uh, over uh, 300 mixing zone simulation. And we, uh, we found uh, a nice uh, harmonic, subharmonic transition to exp which is uh, um, which is coherent uh, with uh, the, uh, the, the theory derived uh, in, this, uh, in this problem. Thank you for your attention. Yeah. Yeah, it's a J yeah, I call I call it a f at first Faraday uh, Faraday instability is for interfaces. Uh, then uh, they call it also Faraday instability with miscible fluid. So you have a mixing zone uh, and you cannot you, you, you cannot identify the very neat uh, waves in this problem. So after you have a turbulence mixing zone. And you study its characteristic, and uh, it's what is proposed here. Yeah. Other questions? Okay.